That's a grouper. That's gotta be a grouper. <sighs> All right, guys, what's good? Today, we're gonna be trying out a semi-new brand to me is Matrix Shad. Now, my buddy Johnny, you know, he always pushed me to use Slayers and um, Matrix Shads because they have really good action. And lately, I've been using them. They work pretty well. I just haven't made any videos on them. And today, we're just gonna be using these paddle tails from Matrix Shad. Here I have the bright yellow, I think this is Lemon Lime, I think that's the name of it. Um, I have Green Hornet, this is a really good color. I really like this color, it's really natural. And then I have some X Shads, which I'm not gonna talk about too much. I'll use them today if I want to, but I wanna make a separate video on those because those look absolutely sick. So like I said, we're gonna be mainly focusing on just the Matrix Shads. And we're gonna be focusing on these two colors in particular because these colors have been working great. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. I got four rods all rigged up with Matrix Shads. I got two with the Lemon Lime, one with the Green Hornet, and then the other one with the X Shad. So, if you haven't noticed, I got the big packs. I got 25 uh, quantity packs. Because one thing that I noticed about these Matrix Shads, they rip up pretty easily. They have great action, catch a lot of fish, but they rip up real easy. If you buy them in bulk, you get a huge discount, and that's what I did. You can get them up to 100 count packs, but you know, I didn't feel like spending that much money on paddle tails. So I'm just sticking with the 25 right now, just in case I find out secretly that I don't like them. Enough talk, let's actually get to using them, see if we can get some fish today. I stopped right here, mainly because, you know, I saw some bait. I'm not going to spend too much time here because I haven't really fished this area all that much. Oh, yeah, that's a fish. Already, that's second cast. Feels like a trout. Oh, that's a good trout, dude. Oh, my God. That is a massive trout. Literally second cast. Second cast. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude, that's a 20 inch trout. Holy crap. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. Second cast. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. On the Matrix Shed. That is a freaking massive trout. Oh my god. Nice trout right there, guys. 20 inches on the dot. We're gonna let this guy go. It's her lucky day. Look at that. There she goes. What a start, guys. Second cast on the Matrix Shad. Out here in like eight and a half feet of water. Never been to this spot. Good start. And on the lemon lime, like I said, I felt like this is gonna be the go-getter today. Don't tell me that was a one fish wonder. Can't believe that trout was all by himself. That is hard to believe. Ah. Rough seas combined with two boat wakes crossing each other equals good day on the water. Heck yeah. One more cast and we're gonna move on. There we go. Got something. I think it's a little trout. Either that or a sea bass. There's a freaking shark chasing my sea bass. Look at that. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, got him a little bit. These sea bass they have pretty tough skin, so didn't even hardly didn't even leave a mark on the guy. This sea bass is all good. Oh, there we go. Feels like a trout. Feels more like a trout. I think. He's shaking his head a little bit, but now I'm feeling like a sea bass. And it feels more like a lizard fish. All right. I start out with a 20 inch trout. And all of a sudden, next spot. Besides the 20 inch trout, that was trash. New spot. Let's go. Oh, good fish. That's a freaking ladyfish. What the hell? <sighs> Getting trash fish slammed today. Come on, man. Turn up my damn matrix shad. Can't be wasting time on you. Oh, 
That's a grouper. That's got to be a grouper. That's got to be a freaking grouper or a big ass shark. I'm guessing it's a grouper though. If it starts running like hell, I know what it is. It's a freaking shark. Really hope it's a grouper though. It's kind of staying down. Ugh. Yeah, feel more sharkish. Yeah, feel more and more sharkish. Freaking bimini should have put it down. It's film real sharkish. Yeah, that's a shark. Dang it. Thought I had a freaking grouper. Yeah, lame little bastard. Honestly, I'd prefer he just break off. He's a cool little dude though. And yeah, he broke off. My wish came true. There we go. Come on, please be a trout. Oh, that is a trout. Heck yeah. Is he a keeper? That's gonna be a question. There's another one with him. Oh, he's, he's gonna be close. He's gonna be real close. Matrix Shad doing work. He is 15 and a half, so he has to go. There we go. There we go. Trout. Nice trout. Another close guy, though. Ooh. Thought he hit his head right there. All right, that's a good sign. There's a school of bait right there. That's a good sign. A little fish, bait. I saw some birds out here. I think it'd be a really good spot. Fucking airboat. Hear that bitch from 10 miles away. Oh, come on. Really? There's like a little break in this flat right here. And I just had something nail my swim bait. Pretty sure it's a little lizard fish or something, but never know. Ooh, big deep hole. Look at that. Oh yeah. Right in that hole. Freaking massive lizard fish. <laughs> Man, I gotta work for my freaking trout today. Ooh, got me a little bit with his teeth. There we go. I think this looks a little bit better. There we go. Come on, that's a good fish, isn't it? Ooh, that's a nice trout. Hopefully that'll keep. Oh yeah, come on. Get in the boat. Nice trout right there, boys. Finally, might have got our first good size keeper today. Technically third keeper, but every bit of 16 inches, he's going in the box. Ooh, ooh, what is that? That is a good trout. Whoo, whoo, whoo. That is a good trout. Matrix Shad strikes again. I don't know if he's gonna be 16 or what, but he's gonna be close. There you see it, you see it. That Matrix Shad is in there. And he is 16 all day long. He's gonna go in with his buddy. Matrix Shad doing pretty good. These baits are excellent, but they rip really easy. See that? Oh, damn it. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's another nice trout, dude. That's a big one. That's a freaking tank. That's a tank, dude. Oh, my God. That's a fat one, dude. Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Heck yeah. Another trout in the boat. That is awesome. Beautiful trout, probably about a 17 inch I'm guessing. Yep, 17, just like I said. Nice trout right there, guys. That is three in the box. I was literally about to switch my color too. Thought they might be biting the other color better, which, you know, I'll try it here in a bit, but I'm just gonna stick to this color. There we go, another one, another one. Oh, it's another good one. Oh, I need to mark this spot. Oh my gosh. Dude, that might be two keepers in a row. If he's 16, I'll keep him. I need to hurry up and mark this spot though. Ooh, he swallowed that guy. Double check him real quick. All right, since he swallowed it, I'm gonna keep him. So he was a like a hair under 16, which I try not to keep anything under 16, but since he swallowed the hook, I'm gonna keep that guy. Using up a lot of these guys today. That was two keepers in a row. Let's see if we can keep it going. Spent a lot of time kind of decking around on that last fish though and getting re-rigged and all that. So we might have moved past the good zone already. There we go, another one. Let's go, baby. He's coming up. Oh, it's a tank. That's a freaking tank, dude. <laughs> oh, I might need to get a camera after this one. I mean, you get a, I can't talk. He might come off and he, there he goes. Oh, bummer. He was probably about 18. It's all good though. I don't have a net with me, so let that guy breathe another day. There we go, another one. Another one, dude, they're fired up. Oh, that's even bigger. Holy shit. That's even bigger, bro. Oh my God. Dude, it's insane out here. Oh my God, dude, that's probably over 20 again. Come here. Oh my God, dude, that's a freaking gator. That is a gator, bro. Come here. Oh my God, dude. Oh, holy shit. Look at that trout on the matrix shed. <laughs> oh my God. That is insane. That is freaking insane. Look at the size of that trout, boy. He is so fat. He was not coming off. Had that matrix shed right in the corner of the mouth. Yeah, he's right at 21. trout guys two trout over 20 inches today i let this guy go as well hashtag release over 20 beautiful fish it has been quite a day today like for at first it was like fish here and there really got to work for him but that drift right there that was the best drift out of the whole day by far i, was, I had trout coming in and out of the boat all right let's see if we can put one more trout in the box There we go, there we go. If that's a trout, that's a giant dude. <laughs> he has a lot of weight to him. Eh, I doubt it's a trout. That's a giant grunt. Look at the size of this grunt. This thing is massive. People have been eating these lately. Apparently they're good. Tastes like snapper. Let them go though. Come on, don't slow down on me. I need one more fish. There we go. There we go. That feels like a trout. That feels like a trout. Get in here. If you're illegal, get in here. That's not a freaking trout, is it? Is that a blue runner? Looks like it. That is a blue runner. That's cool. That's pretty cool. I've never gotten a blue runner on video on my channel before cool little guy basically looks like the cross between a bluefish and a jack revol <laughs> that's funny there we go there we go that might be the one that feels heavier
That does feel heavier. It's not coming up though, it might not be a trout. Oh, fucking 16 inch lizard fish. Last spot. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's it. That's the one. That's the one. That is the one. Let's go. <laughs> Let's freaking go. That is the one to end it right there, baby. Heck yeah. That is, he is for sure a 17 incher. Look at that beautiful trout. Barely hooked on the nose. All right, guys, there you go. Beautiful trout right there, about 17 inches. He's gonna go in the box to complete my limit. Beautiful little guy right there. All right, guys, that was the main goal at the end of the day was to get that last trout to complete my limit. So, so overall review of the Matrix Shad, this thing works great. Like I said, there's two things about this lure that I wanna cover, good and bad. The action on this tail is freaking crazy. And that's why I love this thing is the action. Trout absolutely love it. One thing that I don't like personally, I'm so used to using Z-Mans and stuff like that. Something that's real durable. I don't have to keep buying packs after pack after pack. Um, keep running back to the bait store because they used up a whole pack of jigs. But these guys, uh, they tear up pretty easily. Um, and that's really the only thing that I don't like about them is if you don't buy them in bulk you will go through a whole pack in one day if you really get on a good bite um shoot today i probably if you got just the regular in-store packs that you find say in academy or something like that in a pack of seven or eight definitely would have used a whole pack of them um probably would have used close to two packs if not more than two packs you really shouldn't sacrifice uh you know action for durability I'm, i don't mind paying a few extra bucks to keep buying these make strict shads because they just work that good um you know i'll be testing them versus the man just layers and stuff like that as well and see if they really do make a difference or if it's just you know finding the fish so but yeah if there's anything in particular you want to see me test out any particular lure just let me know and i'll test it out hope you guys enjoy this video we'll see you in the next one